Hey everyone, I'm Claudio Encina. Welcome to a new series that I've decided to call Personal Stories. If you've seen some of our previous videos, they would have been Secrets of My Success. Personal Stories is about journeys of agents in the industry who face the challenges and struggles just like you sometimes that you can relate to and resonate with and understand how they've taken their journey today to be very, very successful. So to start off our first series to Personal Stories, I thought I'd introduce you to Billy Cordell. So Billy, thanks for joining us today. No worries, mate. Well, welcome and coming and uh, sharing some time with us. That's all right. I really wanted to sort of understand your story because we've worked for a couple of years now and um, yeah. I suppose for a lot of the viewers out there, they'd want to get a little bit of an insight into you before, I suppose, what did you do before getting into real estate? Uh, I actually worked on boats. Yeah, whereabouts? Where was that like on the Northern Beaches? It was the Northern Beaches you were working Yeah, I was actually just work, working all over the place, um, mainly on the north side. But yeah. Yeah, just on, on boats, um, you know, a little bit of skippering, a bit of deckhand, um, you know, maintenance. Wow. Just around boats, um, and there was no work in winter. Yeah. So I basically decided to get in a career in, in real estate. Wow, and how long were you there when you decided to take that plunge into Real estate. Yeah, I was uh, 20, I think going on 24. 24. And, 20. and what was the turning point to get into real estate? What was the, the, the what, what was the drive, I suppose, to, to, to get into real estate? Yeah, um, I actually tried opening up a boat detailing um, business of yeah. my own. Yeah. And I just got to the point where I was ready to go. I had all the gear, yeah. but um, I just, I, I really didn't know how to go and get the business. Yeah. So I think um, at that point in my life, I, I still needed a bit of guidance. Right. Yeah. Um, perhaps a, a mentor or, or, or some some people around me to yeah. point me in the right direction. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I just um, I, I decided to um, apply for a job at a real estate office. Wow. Okay. Uh, luckily, I got the job. And where was that at? Billy, what was it your uh, first job in real estate? Yeah, it was actually at a place called um, MGM Properties, okay. which is um, just down on Gardner's Road in, in Rosebury. Wow. Um, great office to, to start my career. Yeah. And um, yeah, just, you know, uh, just uh, went from there. And, and what did you start off? Did you go into property management or did you go as a sales assistant or you went into sales? How did you, how did you start your career or what? Um, when I started my career, basically I was put on as um, what they call a, a creator. Yeah. which is um, your job is to create leads. Like a lead generator? Lead generator, yep. yeah. So I, I just started off as a lead generator yep. um, for myself and for the office. Um, obviously, I was, I was a bit green, so you know, I'd, t I'd take um, more senior guys in with the, to, to the listing appointment. So what would you do? What were some of the tasks or activities you do around lead generating? Because I know that's one of the pivotal points, you know, and, and we'll talk a little bit about it today in the interview, yeah. where you opened up your brand new office here at Ray White Green Square Botany. Um, and, and some of the new guys, you really implement some of the, the basic fundamentals of, of looking for new business. But what were some of the things that you did initially in your career as a sales creator? Was it like door knocking or, yeah. or cold um, calling? When, when I started, all, all I did all day, every day was just door knock and cold call. Right. So and like eight hours a day, that was just your pure role? Eight hours a day, I'd speak to 100 people a day and that's 100 connections. Yep. So not a hundred dials or a hundred knocks, a hundred connections. Yep. So you got to really be knocking or dialing at least two hundred. I'd, I'd assume, but um, yeah, a hundred connections. Um, so basically, on the phone, that's twenty an hour, or, or on the door, it's it's about fifteen an hour. Wow. Okay. Um, so we we just roll with that all day, every day, and and, and just build up the database and yep. um, and and create a pipeline. Fantastic. Yeah. Wow. So that's so uh, you did some hard work, and how long were you doing that for? I was doing that for like at, at least six months until I had a little bit of a pipeline and then the numbers went down a little bit, but yep. they always stayed between, you know, 70 and 100. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So um, was it challenging at times, like, you know, door knocking or, or cold calling? You know, get that hundred connections a day. Yeah, look, no, you, you fall into the rhythm yep. and you, you need, it, it teaches you time management. Yep. Um, also, I think um, for anyone starting their career or getting serious, it's it's I, I, I liken it to like a footy team starting their uh, season off. Yeah, it's it's like they do fitness at yeah. the beginning of the season. Right. So, you know, I call it prospecting fitness. Wow. And you need prospecting fitness. Yeah. If 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 you if you're gonna um, play a big big game. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Wow. Okay. So from there, you you you, you went into sales, into actual sales. After doing that sales creating, 
opportunity, that job that you did? Yeah, look, um, you know, um, after about a year, apparently I wasn't showing much promise. So, you know, unfortunately I was let go, but I found a new job after that and um, implemented the same things that I'd learned. Wow. Um, perhaps with a bit more drive and, and reason behind what I was doing. How did you take that when they said to you that they felt like maybe you didn't have any potential? Oh, mate, I was, I was, I was shattered for about a day. Um, I just put my suit on the next day and um, went and door knocked, which is basically all I knew how to do was door knock. Mm. Um, so I went and door knocked um, other real estate offices. Yeah. So I was, I was just doing a new form of prospecting and, and that was prospecting for a job. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. And then where did you end up landing then? Um, yeah, I had three job offers. Um, I had another off and, and I took one of them with a, a local agent yeah. and um, I worked there for about three months and it was a good three months. Yeah. I was selling a few properties and um, yeah, then um, got, got um, chased by another agency and um, worked there for about four, six, five, five years, wow. about five yeah. years, yeah. So you, didn't, you never gave up, so it was like even though you did that, they let you go, they found that you had no potential and ability, yeah. but yeah. it was almost like you were turning the disadvantage into your advantage. It was like, I'm, I'm going yeah, to exactly. prove, prove a point. Exactly, yeah. I, I find with anyone successful that, um, you know, a, any setback can be turned into a positive. Mm. Um, it, do, it doesn't matter what, what it is, you, you yeah. should be able to turn a setback into a positive. positive. Yeah. yeah. So. Fab, fabulous, mate. And then, uh, I suppose, let's just fast forward your career a little bit. Then you were at, working at McGrath for how many years at um, the Coogee Club Billy office? How many years were you there for? Uh, about uh, five, five years. Five two, years. 2009 to, to or 2000, yeah, 2009 till 2014. 14, yeah. yeah. Now I remember first off when we started working together, you mentioned to me, you said, you know, Claudia, mm -hmm. I want to dominate botany. I, I want to be like the agent of choice, or you know, as as as, as, mm -hmm. as people like Tom Panos is the the attraction agent yeah. in, 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 in in that area. And you've yeah. done that, you've dominated, um, which I say either you're dominating or you're competing. Mm. And you certainly tend to dominate and you've taken that market share. And what were some of the things that you did to take that, that market share in, in, into botany? You know, what were yeah. some of the ideas that you, you brought? Uh, look, basically, like the simplest way I could put it is you've just got to do everything. Mm. You've got to do everything, you know. From letterbox drops. To door knocking, to calling, which you were doing. We we're doing that. We we're sponsoring footy teams. We, we've got a, a trailer that, that's got branding on it. Um, yeah. all, all sorts of stuff. All sorts of stuff. Coffee cards in cafes. Yeah. Um, you name it. Whatever. So really, like branding and profile with your name everywhere around Botany. That's that was the key. I put branding on my car. Yeah. Um, you know. He I, does. He's got Billy C on the back of his number plate. Yeah, yeah, but you know, even before that, I, ha I had some stuff down the side. Um, yep. Yeah, I just, just made sure, you know, if, if, if anyone was in that suburb, that they'd be seeing me somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, yeah or hearing from me. Yeah. Um, texts, emails, calls, letterbox, to really coffee get shop, mm. trailer, sponsorship, anything. That you could put your name on it to branding and profile. Yeah, yeah. exactly. That's, exactly. That's, that's yeah. amazing, Billy. Yeah. I mean, you've, you've, you've done that. And then, I, I suppose, we, we, we get to your career and then you, you sort of like, I suppose, you were an agent for McGraw and you're a very successful agent, you know, and, and, and you had a goal to, to, you know, hit your million dollar GCI, which you've done. Yeah. And then there was something in you that sort of said, I want more. Mm -hmm. And that was obviously owning your own office, which today you have uh, an incredible successful business already and it's only six months in. Yeah. Having Ray White, you know, Green Square Botany. Yeah. And you're employing people. What was the turning point for you at that point where you sort of said, I'm leaving in that, becoming an agent, but I really want to be a principal. I really want to have my own business. Did, was that vision like embedded for you for a long time before making that transition or that move? Yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, it was always going to happen. Mm. It was always going to happen. I like working for myself. I want to be number one. Yeah. Um, and, you know, I want to be in control of my environment. Yeah. So, you know, here I'm completely in control. Yeah. Um, and um, no, it's it's fantastic. It's fun. I love it, and we're more local too yeah. to the area that we're working in. in yeah. Um, so I think it's 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 better for our marketplace. Mm. Um, we've we've got a lot more buyers making inquiries into our office. 
um, and people that want to sell. So mm -hmm. yeah, no, it's it's good. It's and, good. And it, and it was an easy move for you. You felt the move was was it scaring at all, or daunting at any time? Where you were thinking, okay, I'm I'm, I'm going to be running my own office. There's risk. Like you know, successful people take risk. But you know, there's also there's yeah. there's little demons in your head that could be going going. Are you sure you want to do this? It's a big responsibility, but. You know, how did you manage that? Like to, 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 to do what um, you've done. You know, it was just in my mind for a long time. Um, you know, I was always going to do it. Probably at the start of a year, mm. and um, you know, it just it was everything was right. Um, mm. Leading into this year, I was ready. Right. Yeah. So I didn't have any hesitations. Yeah, there was a bit of stress, but yeah, you know, I had a great my first month. Um, we listed, well, I listed 14 properties in my first month. In your that's, first 30 days, 14, that's huge. Yeah, so, you know, don't let anyone tell you that, you know, you, you're going to be worse off doing your own thing, mm, mm. Um, which people tried to say. Yeah. But, um, you know, if anything, um, you know, p people do want to back you as a person. Yeah. It's not about the brand, it's, it's just about you. Yeah. It could be with anyone. Fantastic, yeah. yeah. I always heard a great quote, Les Brown, he said, you know, don't let someone else's opinion become your own reality. Yeah. You know, and it's so true. You just got to take your own reality and you'd run with your own opinion what you want to do. Exactly. So, exactly. Now, that's great. Yeah. So, now, now you've got a successful team here, you've got a successful office, you've done really incredibly well in the last six months. Yeah. I suppose, what's next for, for Billy Cordell moving on? Um, yeah, just, you know, more, more, more growth in our area. Um, we're in the most highly densely, or predicted to be, yeah. the most highly densely populated suburb in, um, in, in pretty much Australia, yeah. uh, Green Square, so you've got... A lot of buildings going up, you drive past Green Square. a lot of buildings going up, so, yeah. you know, we're the local agent here, um, and there's plenty of business that we haven't got, mm. so, yeah, just, just more of that, servicing clients really well, mm. um, particularly the buyers. Yeah, no, fantastic. Billy, just two final questions just to, to finish personal stories today. Um, Firstly, what advice would you give to anyone that perhaps is looking at was looking at doing the same what you've been doing, being a highly successful agent, mm. and perhaps thinking of maybe starting their own business? What advice would you give them, knowing what you know now? Um, just do the hours, and um, basically, you know, I guess follow follow your 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 gut instincts. Mm -hmm. Um, so I've always been a big believer in, in just following your gut and, and doing what you want to do. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's, that's the main thing. If, if, if they're going to do it, they're going to do it. Yeah. But, um, yeah, you just get out there and have a crack, but make sure you put in the hours and, and take it seriously. Yeah. yeah. Because um, it, it's a bit of a vulnerable time. And, um, you know, you, you've got to make sure you get back to that prospecting fitness. Yeah. If, I love that terminology you're using. Yeah, you, you gotta, you just gotta keep your prospecting fitness up and um, make sure that you know when you start your new season, mm. you're fit. Fantastic. Yeah. And finally, just what's your definition of success? Um, success to me is just living every day in the moment, how you want to live it. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Billy, thanks for joining us today. No worries. And sharing your personal story. Hope you really enjoyed that video with Billy Cordwell, understanding his journey and his personal story. I look forward to seeing you in our next video where we've got another great person that's gonna share their success and their personal story.